Hello everyone. Today I'm at Heron Auto, Kia and Opel in Donegal Town, County Donegal. As usual, all additional information about this dealership will be mentioned in the description box below. Hello everyone. Today I'm happy to bring you this very exclusive review of the all new 2012 Kia Optima. In this review I'm going to be looking at the interior of the car, I'll explain how all the features work, we'll also start up, look at the engine, go to performance data and take a look around the exterior. First off I should just explain that this car arrived at the dealership only a few days ago, so it hasn't had a full PDI yet, which means the transport mode is still on and that the key won't unlock the vehicle using the remotes. But I will explain how this uh, brand new smart key access system works. It actually works the exact same way as any other smart key system. There's a black button on the door handle, which when you press it, locks the vehicle. Then after waiting for a moment, there's a touchpad behind the handle. And once you grab it, it will unlock the car. I'll be able to demonstrate that once this car has had a full PDI. Black leather interior perforated door panels with this very nice wooden trim. There's power folding mirrors. As well as your power mirror controls, your central locking, safety switch for rear windows and your four electric window switches. As well as your two person memory settings for the seats. This Optima does come with the Infinity Sound System. I should also mention that this is a top spec Optima. It does have every option on it. Fuel tank release and boot release. Your power adjustments for the seats. Slide it forward and back. Also has powered lumbar. It does have a full leather interior with perforations in the seats. Bonnet release is located down here. Now, as I mentioned, it is a full keyless entry system, so I just keep the key fob about the person. And by depressing the clutch and pushing in the engine start stop, we power on the car. It does have a manual tilt telescoping steering wheel as well as satellite navigation which I'm going to demonstrate to you now. So I'll just show you how to get to it from the very beginning. You press nav and then by choosing any of these options, you can, for example, type in your address first. The last address I typed in was Dublin. Click OK, confirm I want it. And then click Show Map. And it shows me Dublin. So then we press Start. And now it's going to calculate the route. While it's doing so, I'd just like to explain that it does have a full Bluetooth connectivity system. It's also MP3 compatible. There's the map showing Donegal on the top left. Let's click start. Starting route guidance. And then you just follow the blue line on the road and that's it. And there's a very easy to use system. So press radio. The Infinity Sound system is excellent. Audio is crystal clear. On your list, all your different stations, option for different scan frequencies and use, and then your preset stations. It does have a multifunction steering wheel, your audio controls, random scan for the stations, 
as well as your different station controls. Also has cruise control on the right. Your Bluetooth connectivity for your phone as well as voice commands. Mute for the radio as well as your trip computer. On the right clock is a fuel gauge in digital format. And on the left, the engine oil temperature. The reason why this is a very exclusive review, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, is because this is the very first time the Kia Atma has ever come to Ireland. We never had a previous generation. And this car isn't actually on sale yet. This is the only one in the country at the moment. Comes with the auxiliary on port and USB. As well as a climate control system. Fan speed controls. Aircon, recycling, front and rear defrosting. As well as your dual climate control settings here and different modes. Just turn it off. Also two stage heated seats for the drive from passenger side. By clicking right you can heat the seat and left to cool it. And the same kind of settings on the passenger side. Two cup holders, as well as this removable little ashtray. The wooden trim you saw on the door panel can also be found throughout the center console. Has an auto dimming rear view mirror. Had a sunglass, sunglasses container, sorry. Panoramic sunroof. Very nice. These leather seats are very comfortable and supportive. With white and black contrast stitching, and as I mentioned, they are perforated. So, so far, it is shaping enough to be a really nice car. off the radio. But before we go into the back seat, by pressing the little clock here, it comes up in an analog format. Maybe you can't see it too well because of the light. And when you turn on the radio, press it again, it comes up in a digital format. So let's take a look at the back seat. combination of leather and wood does continue back here as well. Very spacious back seat. Loads of legroom and headroom. Very comfortable leather seats which are also perforated in the center. Leather armrest with two cup holders. It also has one stage heated rear seats, which can be operated by using this button. The same can also be found, of course, on the other rear side door. The Optima also comes with a six speed manual transmission. I'll just run through the gears. Contained gauge reverse, just pull up on the slow black rim, over to the left and up. And then the rear backup camera comes on, as well as guidance lines. Very light handbrake. There is a six speed automatic also available. It also has these very nice illuminated door sills. Very nice illumination in red. It would show up better at night, of course. So we'll take a look around the exterior of the car now. We'll just turn on the headlights and fog lights. It does have automatic lights as well. And 
As I mentioned, it does have full electric windows. We'll keep the key fob inside the car just so it doesn't lose detection. LED indicators integrated into the side mirrors. It also has this very nice front side air vent with a chrome lip finish. This here helps to bring out the exterior of the car that little bit more and also adds to the overall sportier styling on the exterior. This particular Optima has 18 inch alloy wheels with a very nice black gloss paint finish. It also has a solid black exterior in color. I'll find out the proper name for this color and I'll edit it in as an annotation to the video. It also has high intensity discharge projector headlamps as, as well as running LED daylights and your lower fog lights. It does have front and rear parking sensors. It also comes with the very well known Tiger Nose Grill which has been fitted to a few other keys in the past, such as the Sportage. But it is kind of a new design all around. I think there is no doubt that the Atma looks absolutely fantastic. Very exclusive and unique styling. Very sporty. This car should definitely be a very big seller. seats on the passenger side. Legroom is quite good, as is the headroom. It is very spacious all around. Decent sized glove box. Sathma also does come with rain sensing windshield wipers. Hopefully the sun isn't obscuring it too much. Shark fin antenna. as well as your rear parking sensors. Polish rear exhaust. It also has an integrated third brake light. Very light boot lid. The boot itself is very good in size. Plenty of room for any everyday items you may be carrying. Also has this little card in case somehow you manage to get yourself locked in the boot. You just pull that and the boot pops open. Pull these two levers here to release the back seats so that they can fold down. This particular Optima I have is the Equodynamics. basically means it burns less fuel and it's more fuel efficient than let's say a standard Optima with a petrol engine maybe. I do love the styling. It also has nice chrome design going around the door pillars. Rear 
proceed to do forward flat. So let's see how the optimus sounds. It does have a very quiet diesel engine. It's at about 2,500 RPM. has a very smooth and responsive leather wrapped steering wheel. in this Optima is a 1.7 litre CRDI, otherwise known as Common Rail Direct Fuel Injection, Ecoflex Diesel. It produces 136 brake horsepower and has an estimated top speed of 125 miles per hour. It produces 325 torques. It has four cylinders and 16 valves with a Common Rail Fuel Delivery System. It also has a 0 to 60 time of 10.2 seconds and is only available as a front wheel drive. The whole idea of EcoFlex, like most eco engines you find in cars these days, is that the Optima will burn fewer emissions than a normal petrol or even diesel car, allowing this Optima to get up to 57.6 miles to the gallon. So just before we finish up the review, I'd like to give my own personal views on this car. The Kia Optima is without a doubt a fantastic looking car all around. This top spec model is very well equipped in the interior, has satellite navigation, a very good infinity sound system, climb control, heated seats for the front and rear of the car, as well as two person memory settings and power folding mirrors, so it does come with quite a good package all around. From the rumours I've heard, I believe the top spec model is going to cost approximately €30,000, but I'll find that information out for sure. So I can wait until this car starts selling in Ireland. I do think it's going to be a brilliant seller. So we'll just power it off. A little display there which just shows the car driving by. And of course as I mentioned as soon as this car is fully PDI'd I will demonstrate the locking and unlocking of the vehicle as well as the keyless entry system. The Kia Optima also comes with its own 5 star safety rating. I believe this car was released in the United States in, I think, 2011. There's already been a few reviews done on it, but this is the first time, as I said, it's ever come to Ireland. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this full and net tour of the all-new 2012 Kia Optima. Please remember to rate, comment and subscribe, and please stay tuned for the plenty more videos to come. In this image you can see the 1.7 litre diesel engine itself. As I mentioned it does produce 134 brake horsepower. This is in fact the only diesel engine available for this car. In Europe there are three engines available, I'll just go through them now as well as their brake horsepower. The 1.7 litre diesel engine that I mentioned, the rest are petrols which include a 2 litre MPI Theta which produces 163 brake horsepower a 2.4 liter MPI Theta which is produces 178 brake horsepower. The 2.4 liter MPI is in fact the only engine available in the Middle East. 
In North America you can have a 2 litre turbocharged petrol which produces 274 brake horsepower. There's also a 2.4 GDI available which produces 200 horsepower. In Australia the 2.4 litre GDI petrol is the only engine available. There's also two different transmissions available, a 6 speed manual like I have in this car and a 6 speed automatic which has manual shiftability using the gear stick. There's also two paddle shifters located behind the steering wheel using the left one to shift down and the right one to shift up.